sleepy the tool attic. I'm back. That's right, fellas. So far, we're having a good week. Um, we're gonna throw out, cross our fingers about that, but uh, I figured I better update you on some new items that I've received here in the shop. Um, so we're gonna have snap-on tool haul. That's what we're gonna do right now. And then later on the week, you'll have another video of Cornwall. <laughs> So, obviously, you can guess from this one that we got a snap-on tool haul. So, it's not very big. Um, and I'm going to try to stretch this out um, a little bit. A little bit. Um, you know, it's it's not a, you know, not every week I really want to do a tool haul. So, I think what we're going to talk about week after week, we're going to do one video a week. And we're going to talk about maybe... Um, a tool that um, has been around for a while and that maybe we don't talk about that much and maybe it's a tool that we've used and then uh, after that maybe try to do a tool haul new tool of the week um, maybe I'll uh, go back over some of the tools that I have and we'll talk about some of the specialty items and whatnot um, you know obviously we have toolbox tours and stuff still coming in I have a ton of stuff on the uh on the on the uh, board for you guys, I just man, there's just uh, it seems like every every week there's always something going on. But I missed you guys, so I'm I'm happy to be back, or happy to kind of get back to regular scheduled programming. Um, so today we're gonna talk about Snap On Tool Haul. Now, you know, I've been purchasing a few Snap On ratchets, um, but. Um, a couple weeks back, I got some uh, some new snap. I got some, the new Mac ratchet. We got the new Mac Axis ratchet. Um, let's see here. We got the new. We got another new snap on. You know, quarter inch. The uh, THLL seventy two. THLL seventy two eight inch. I um, haven't really had a chance to use this guy yet. Did use this one a little bit. She's pretty. She's pretty new. I'm. Uh, you know, I, I don't I don't mind the old hard handle snap ons. I mean, they're I got I don't have very many of them left, but uh, you know, compared to the soft grips, um, I like the soft grips. But you know, whatever. I'm not that big stickler. I'll tell you one I had did use that uh, we'll talk about this one real quick. I did use this one a little bit, and I got to tell you, as far as the head and everything, this is the Power Torque um, PTT twenty one sixteen. Um, you know, it's a nice looking ratchet decent length um you know i really it, this is my go-to for a three eighths for this length um but i gotta tell you i did use this one a couple times and my biggest complaint is, is <laughs> function over functionality is this thing will slide right out of your freaking hand every single time it looks nice it works decent um it's really not a bad ratchet guys if you're looking for a cheaper option can't remember what this was, 15 bucks or something like that. But I'll tell you what, for DIYers, uh, O'Reilly's Power Torque Ratchet, um, I would actually almost say that adding some grip tape or something to this would probably be a big benefit. But I can tell you this much, I did not like it when I was yanking on something. My hand was slipping and a sliding. So the ratchet itself works fantastic. The grip, <laughs> not so fantastic. But anyways, um, let's see. Oh, yeah, you know that we picked up the old number seven. The Snap-on number seven. I uh, really dig what Snap-on did there. I'll give you guys a real good. We already had the tool haul on this stuff, you know. But uh, we'll give you a nice, nice, uh, nice good view of that. I think they did an excellent job on the remake of it. Um, I, you know, for you guys that are out there, I do... Now, I remember when I was a kid that that was a reversible ratchet, not one of these uh, through ratchet pop ones like that. I can't remember, but the Snap-on guy claimed it was, but whatever. I'm not, I'm not really using that. That actually will go back in its little, back in its little box. I've been meaning to take it home, and I just haven't because it's just going to hang out at my house for, for uh, <laughs> decoration. Mostly, I don't plan on using this at all. Um, I was going to do a teardown on it, so we might do that sometime. I probably should have done that tonight since I'm doing a snap-on tool haul. Uh, snap-on stuff is going to probably 
probably dwindle a little bit. I just don't really need anything from Snap-on, and uh, quite frankly, guys, don't want to spend a whole lot of money right now um, until things start to get where they're, what I would say, come somewhat normal. I'm going to kind of hang back a little bit. You know, I do have, I will buy some tools, but, uh, and I do have some tools coming in, but uh, just, uh, just not as, just not as crazy about spending a whole lot right now. Anyways, guys, I know what you're waiting for, and we're going to talk about the ratchets that I ordered, <laughs> and that is, bam, the TK-72. If you guys haven't seen these or don't have these on the snap-on truck, I've had it for a couple weeks now. Um, this is a, this is a cute little guy right here. Look at that thing. That thing is little. To give you a comparison of what that is, <laughs> how big that is, this is my Titan quarter inch micro drive. Um, the head is substantially larger, but the ratchet itself is phenomenally, I mean, phenomenally short. Um, that is roughly about two inches, maybe. So, uh, very, very, very cool little ratchet. Um, it's, and it's just TK-72. All the quarter-inch snap-ons are always 72, 72 teeth. Um, and it's a dual 80 drive, or dual, dual Paul system, I should say. It's not a dual 80, because this is a 72. But, essentially, um, I, I was a little bit, uh, it's basically your quarter-inch head off of everything, with just a shortened neck, so... Uh, it's basically the same as your snap-on ratchets. It's, it's exact same head, exact same head di dimensions. Um, there's nothing different to it other than the fact that it's basically cut off. You can whack off your own, uh, uh, whack off your own. Uh, you can cut off your own snap-on ratchet and do the same thing, or uh, or maybe you can buy a flex head, take the head off of it. Um, it's about a, it's about a quarter inch longer than a flex head if you just took the bolt out of it. So, um, still neat, um, still useful, I think it's functional. Um, real nice, it, 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 it's a snap-on ratchet, so I have nothing bad to say about it. You know, a snap-on's chroming. Let's take another look at that again. Got my fingerprints all over it. Um. Give you the part number right there, TK72. You know, it's uh it's a pretty good ratchet. Uh for, for a tiny ratchet. Here's a 3-8 stubby. Um, you know, quarter inch. So it, it is significantly smaller. Um uh, try to give a couple ratchets to comparison. This was my actual smallest quarter inch ratchet before. And that trumps it. And the head is actually probably a little bit smaller. And this is a Mac micro drive. Or zero drive. And yeah, they're about the same. With, meh, a little bit skinnier. Um, I, I don't think anybody really makes anything really smaller than that. To this, to, the, to my knowledge this time. Um, but we also got another one. Couldn't just get one TK-72. So I had to get the TK-72 Flex. There she is. Cute little booger. You know, same thing with just a flex handle. Uh, once again, give you the side-by-side -side comparison there. Uh, hold them up. This one is a little bit larger. And we'll compare that to my Mac quarter inch. That flex, I mean, this is, <laughs> she's, a, she's a cute little booger. Um, the head on it. My Mac head is actually a little bit smaller. This is my 3.8. This is my 3 8 quarter inch. I used to use this a lot. I really don't know why anybody, you know, I mean, I use, this is my 3 8 go-to. This is my 3 8 roto ratchet snap-on, and this one is a uh, big part number here. So, FHCNF72, remember that number. I'm not gonna probably put a link in the description board, but this is my go-to for my 3 8 quarter inch. Uh, I use the roto head snap on quite a bit for my normal quarter inch um and then this is probably the most standard for my standard quarter inch i will probably be using this one more often i found myself grabbing this quite a bit this week the flex i do like the length is almost perfect if you see that when i put it in my hand 
Um, it almost indexes perfectly to my pinky and it just feels very good once you start using it. Um, I do like the quarter inch Matco one that I use. Um, I have never experienced too many clearance issues that I've ever gotten into with this ratchet, but I've said it before, guys. <laughs> I may have a lot of ratchets, but I don't use them as much. I'm, I just like them. It's kind of one of those things. I just, I just buy them and I like them. So, anywho, <laughs> that's my Snap-on haul. Um, whether it's not, it's exciting enough for you. Let me know in that comment box. Um, you know, the TKF72 and the TK72. Brand new from Snap-on. Just got these like a week or two ago. I hadn't had a chance to do a tool haul. I was going to add some stuff to them, but I thought these were cool enough that they could be showcased by themselves. So remember, guys, appreciate you watching. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks a lot.